My researcher was murdered. Why would you do that? Why would you murder him? And it was the Legget? Did the old Legget die? Yeah, this is the new Legget. I, I don't want to piss off the Legget. The Legget's a powerful dude. Especially as I'm giving him his own legion. Alright, you got away with it this time. Ooh, okay. I always say yes to this event. Hey, we just got a lot of our stability back. That's nice. Woo! Filling up this city is pretty simple. It's in a nice, happy spot. So... I'm just going to do some stuff with it. Oh yeah, what do I control? I haven't changed any of this. I don't have the, the political influence to go around changing the stuff under my control very easily. It would be smart to do so, but I also just don't have the influence to be doing that necessarily. I think it does keep maybe until your leader dies, so it could be worth the investment, but I want to get that stability up first. Uh, but we will just, this will always be under our control. This is part of Macedon after all. We're going to build just three academies here to fill that up. That's pretty expensive, but it'll be filled. It'll be full. Filled. We gotta send it's someone time. to the Olympics. Hmm. I, I keep sending Antiparos, and he keeps not winning. I'll just send him again. Third time's a charm, Antiparos. You could do it. There he goes. Oh, we got stuff. Yay. Uh, monthly military experience. Whew. Ideally, put someone in a great family, right? Let's put this family there. Oh my god, look at this guy. He fucking... He doesn't have a very important job, but he's terrible at his job. Let's swap him out for someone younger and better. This guy's also terrible at his job, which gives legitimacy, so it's pretty important. Let's give it to somebody that's in a noble family here. Anyone else just terrible at their job? No. Okay. Random little nations keep asking to be my ally. Nations that are friends with nations that I want to conquer. We, you know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ally Byzantium because I feel like there's a chance I might be able to get them to be a feudatory or something. There's a chance. It's not the highest chance, but there's a chance. So I'm gonna try to go for that chance. While I still wind down my war exhaustion, still ridiculously high. We could try to spend some more lowering that. If I remember how to do that, there we go. Invoke devotio. Just go ahead and pay for that again and then that'll be bringing it down a little bit 0 0.05 more which is still a pretty good increase there ideally we go even higher but if we want to do that we'd want to time it for efficiency the ladia won again we'll grab the kill him it was it's the same guy from Aladia too. Okay, guys, so your boy's dumb and he just lost an hour and a half of footage because the game, my whole computer locked up, and unfortunately, I still recorded in MP4 instead of anything else. Well, I've changed my recording format, so I should never lose footage ever again. Um, let me summarize what has happened. I allied with Tribalia to take over Paeonia, which was right here. We also fought Dardania, and I took, in a very short war, these three things right here. This is all a Paeonia. Or, well, this is Paeonia. I forget what this was called, but this nation. And I took these two settlements from Dardania in effort and success to complete the mission, control Paeonia. So, that's what we did. We also allied Carthage. Me and Narfi talked about it a little bit. We allied Carthage so that we could have more of a chance against Rome. This is, I think, just seconds before Carthage calls me in because they have a war going on in Iberia right now. They had a war over here. Gellis tried to get freedom, I guess, and they did. I didn't really help them. I was busy because I also had a war over here with Eritrea, which is this. And I had to fight Athens as well in order to take Eritrea over. So I fought Athens, took him over really easily. There was really no difficulty doing that. And Narfi mentioned he needs Athens to complete a mission. So we decided we would just like trade it back and forth a little bit and that's what we would do. Well, we're not there yet. So also cultures expanded. He said he looked like a crocodile, like an alligator or something eating the Black Sea. So we tee hee ha ha to that. We got a war here between the Bosparans and Scythia. The Seleucids are being Seleucid. They won a war right here. They fought Maria, but it was just over this little tiny corridor. And that's the only territory that traded hands. We were quite surprised that they won. I also learned that I have territory over here. I had no idea that I had territory over here, but we learned 
that. Egypt's at war with the Antigonids. They've taken all of Cyprus. They've taken all of this. Egypt has a scary, scary navy of 63. I fought some pirates and I've unified my army, my navy, specifically, I guess, to being all triremes. We have 36 because I wanted it to be as big as my legion, which is right now this. I forget what's in the past hour and a half and what was in the prior recording, but you know, here we are. We have a legate and a tribune because I like to split this in half. 21 heavy infantry, 7 light cavalry, 2 supply trains, and 4 engineers what we're doing. Eventually, I want to get war elephants in, but I can't because I went ahead and I unintegrated the Thessalians so that they would start assimilating because I'd rather just everybody in Macedon be Macedonian, ideally. I don't want to keep them integrated because then things will be worse for my actual Macedonians. So I want everyone to be happier, which is more score, which is just better overall. Decided I would do that. Additionally, I'm gearing up for a war to go fight the Antigonids myself. This is my legion right here. We have a claim on everything over here, so we're going to go for it. But the Antigonids, who are at war with Egypt, by the way, also have stuff over here, namely this and these. Maybe something else. It's just really hard to see right now. Maybe. Uh, then we're also going to grab that. So that's why these mercenaries are here, and they're kind of revving up. We haven't had any more big wars since that second war that happened over here, which I'm pretty confident was in the prior recording. Byzantium, I got to become my feudatory. Unfortunately, I only got it after Heraclea Pontia came through here and took Byzantium from Byzantium. And I don't know when this happened, but Chalcedon has now taken that from them. So that's quite interesting. We learned that Cappadocia has taken Thrace as a client state. So Thrace, which has nothing up here anymore, just this, no subjects, now belongs to Cappadocia. And I'm improving my opinion with Cappadocia to try to get a potentially good ally out of them. Because them combined with Thrace, that's pretty powerful for Anatolia. Meanwhile, we discovered that Rome had eaten Sardinia. I hadn't even noticed that, so Carthage doesn't own anything over here. Etruria still somehow exists. Rome's been expanding north quite a bit, and they've taken everything up here right now. They're actually going northeast. They're actually going into barbarian lands primarily. They haven't gone after Carthage. Hopefully my alliance is helping dissuade them. Otherwise, they've been cleaning up city-states, but... They're going an interesting path for Rome. Carthage is having a lot of wars of its own. Sparta is claiming all of Crete. That seems to be his goal. Osparan Kingdom and Colchis teamed up and wiped out one nation here, and they kind of split it bit by bit. The Bosparans are once again at war with Scythia. His last war didn't work out so well because he ran out of time. He didn't realize he was running out of time, but he did. Atropatine is huge now. It ate Albania. Most of what I'm saying is basically how I would have said it in the recording. Like, I just saw it and I'm like, oh, look, this happened. So you're not missing too much other than the actual war that happened here and here. Although they were both very, very short because most of what we've been doing is just placing buildings which is mostly of little consequence, as well as building up our legion, getting that ready to go. And yeah, that's basically everything. Tech-wise, we have gotten professional sailors, just got it, so we haven't really been able to use it. We just got a divine sacrifice for the first time in forever. We have a child and his name, I named him Macedon, after, you know, who we are because with a father that's this important and this well off this child has a huge legacy on his shoulders so i thought i would just name him macedon what is this this feudatory of the antigonids this could be a problem but we'll deal with that when we get to that we have no need to deal with that right now either way all right so we've unpaused and we're gonna, yep, yeah, this is about where I remember it happened. We get invited to this war that's happening over here. That's fine, really of no consequence to me. I'm getting ready for my own war. I don't think there's anything else to summarize. Funny that I could summarize an hour and a half in like five minutes. Really nothing else of interest happened. It, it was a huge surprise to learn that I had this. I really had no idea that I had this. And I was confused about naming it and I couldn't remember the place of note that I remembered being over here but Rift came in and he said oh yeah Antioch I'm like that's exactly what I was thinking of but uh, the others had noticed this before I did so I learned that I'm bordering the Seleucids so I started improving my opinion with them so you know hopefully that helps these guys are almost up to snuff and really once they are we'll be good to just head in there we're currently parked at Miletos which isn't even me 
It's it's another nation. I have three out of four allies. That I don't remember being like that. Oh yeah, because I was gonna try to get Cappadocia. But they're pretty far away from liking me enough for an alliance, unfortunately. Yeah, they have too much relations already. Phrygia doesn't want anything with us either, so I guess the best I can do right now is Sardis. Sardis may be the best I could do, or Rhodes, something like that. Sardis would be obviously more valuable, however. So let's, let's ally Sardis. Drag Sardis into my war. I broke my alliance with Trebalia the moment I finished using them for up here. We have to wait on our truce here to expire before we could go. We do have a claim there now since we moved that mission along, but we have to wait until we could really utilize that. No more unit reorganization needed. What's their capital here? It's going to be one of these. We'll probably just stomp on that and then go up here, but they'll probably go for something as well. Gonna have to chase them down a little bit. We'll figure it out. I just want to be able to call in these guys like at the very start. We we'll take Ionia, Sardis, Carthage. Yep, yep. Carthage is very nice to just join all of these. There you go. Um, I read Traitorous. I don't think they joined. Yeah, no, they didn't join. They actually betrayed me. That sucks. Well. <laughs> so much for that alliance. I think they're the ones that are going to end up regretting that, though. Put you guys on just hunt fleets for now. You guys step over here. And okay, so this one over here is the capital. How the fuck do I get over there? Uh, military access. Just get military access through everyone that's, like, in my way. Or, we just sail this shit over here. And then I could just walk right over. That would work as well. My legion being over here means the siege will be relatively easy. Or at least it should be. What is this? The enemies are going into Sardis, which is exactly what I wanted Sardis for. Sardis is taking this spot. Oh, they fucking heard it. Ooh, they heard it, yeah. They probably got some good shit from that. That seems like a pretty important city. But what will they do with it? They're not good enough to just do stuff up there. And Sardis went ahead and destroyed the holy site there. Maybe getting Sardis to join me wasn't the greatest idea, but I'll still just choose to be happy with them, I guess. Oh boy. You know, they like me so much right now that they would take a client state ship with me. Let me put them on improve opinion, because maybe when we get out of this war, they'll keep that attitude. Maybe they will. I don't know. The last thing I want is for them to have that, though, so we'll see how this goes. I'm getting raided by pirates because, of course, I am. Let's go over here and claim this, and then we'll also go over there. Batter down this thing that they own. Does anything else stand out that I'm at war with? Um, this stuff right here, in fact. Didn't know I'd be at war with all that. That's another great wonder for the masses unintegrated culture group happiness. That's really good. Now, unfortunately, Sardis is the one that's occupying this. I'm not going to give it to them. My claims, though, are entirely up here. Wouldn't it just be a shame if they just... All this stuff got handed to them? Well, they can't fight up here, so if they do fight and they don't do well, you know, the enemies are just going to go for their stuff. If I get the fort, I could just turn my attention for a little bit. And then if my attention is turned... And maybe all the stuff I want will just kind of get freed. Well, that's cute. They got some units up here. But my Byzantians are going to try to intercept them. They're fucking up the Antigonids that are over here on Tangara. There's a whole ass fucking city, dude. City of Chalkis, actually. City of Chalkis. This could be a nice one. Help complete this region that I have. We wouldn't be missing very much at that point. A city would be great. More populations to convert. This place is just filled absolutely filled with cities. I just had another kid, and so my leader here, who's great, he's got all these amazing skills that have come, a lot of them from his tutor. I gave him a tutor while he was a kid before he took power. I don't know if that got lost in the recording as well, but came out with all these cool skills, and he's got his blood of, and you know, so I named his son because I gave him a wife, but it was the youngest wife I gave him was like 36. She's 42 now, actually still pumping out kids. We had the son, 
So he na he was named Macedon because he got the blood stuff, and so we're kind of carrying this on his shoulders. But now we also have this girl, and so we gotta think up a name for her. I'll name this one Era Area, however you want to say that. It's a reference, and if you know, and I might be spelling this reference wrong to be completely honest, but if you know the reference, plus one thousand brownie points for you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, stockpiles, governor of Sicilia. That's that stuff to the east that I didn't really know was there until recently. I don't want to spend political influence, so I'll just let him handle the cost. That's fine by me. Mr. Vault wants permission to move through? Sure. Looks like they took this away from my allies, and they're just, they've been beating up my allies. That's expected. We did get the phalanx. Yeah, we got that phalanx, which I think I mentioned kind of the whole reason for our setup was to get it in a phalanx and just rely on the strengths of the phalanx. It'll be even more efficient once we can throw in something else like the elephants. It's weird that it shows the light cavalry not being worth as much here. Because when I look at the wiki, it doesn't say 15%. It says 75% for light cavalry. So I wonder if that's somehow aligned, but then it says 61% for heavy infantry, but it's supposed to be 100%. So I guess these, some of these numbers are just kind of nonsense. So we are claiming all this, which is good. This is the main thing that I'm here for. Because we got this, and when we get the capital, everything I'm actually here for will be under my claim, under my control. We have a lot of problems with succession. wonder why that is. I do, I would like to activate that anti-piracy edict. <laughs> yeah, you could do non-interference and get money, but I want anti-piracy. It makes my citizens happier and lets me root out pirates. That would cost some stability that I don't want to necessarily mess with. I'm also really, really tempted to go into familial marriage because it's usually what I do. It's a really nice way to be able to rule things. And let's see what we have here. Oh god, those guys are so far away. Um, okay, let's go down here then. This is the next big goal, yeah? They're just over here fighting. Byzantium came down here, fuck's sake. We do still have enemies up here to worry about, but that's not too important. It can be important, but it's not excessively important. Just taking everything that they have is the most important thing. This whole region doesn't cost a huge amount with our claims, so it shouldn't be too bad, but we're gonna go for just besieging really, really critical things that could be very useful to us, such as having this. I mean, this is... This is huge. I might even get rid of this fort, right? And move the capital over here. It's a city. It's built up. It has a great wonder in it. All right, I've occupied that thing that I wanted to occupy. So that's pretty good. We, our Navy was showing up over here to help with all that, but I guess they don't need to. So we'll just go over here to kill and reclaim this once we lose it because we're not going to get there in time. We have some starvation happening here. That's not very good. And our siege has only kind of just begun. Uh, so yeah, that's really inconvenient. The weight of this unit is so heavy. Um, yeah, we're, we're bleeding out too quickly. We gotta go somewhere and just get some food for a while. You, in the meantime, will go up here. If we sued for peace, yeah, they still won't give us even this. So we have to fight them for a while longer. The war's too new. Even while they're fighting Egypt, they're not fighting Egypt anymore. Egypt didn't claim all of Cyprus, but they claimed part of it. They claimed all of this. And then what else do you still have? You have some friends. Egypt didn't take a whole lot, despite seemingly kicking your fucking asses in. So, alright. We are now getting food. We need to do that and recover ourselves. And then you're gonna go land. Okay, we might actually stop them from taking this. I didn't think we'd be able to arrive here in time for that, but... I mean, here we are. Let's get permission to go through there. And let's see. Yep, yeah, we landed in time. Our mercenaries have arrived. And there you go. And we have 110% discipline. I have gone out of my way to raise that. Let's go besiege this. I've gone out of my way to raise that a teensy bit. We have active drill. I need to go further in. I definitely wanted to get the, the sailors, though. The sailors were a pretty big thing for me. And now we're just getting food. And the food is going up, right? 
Less than optimal conditions. So it's using a lot. Okay, what if I split this bitch in half and I move one of them over here or up there? And we've gained an infection. That's not good. Scheme, seek treatment. Yes, yeah, spend your money. Seek treatment. I haven't been doing many of the schemes. I might scheme influence because that's what we're always short on. First, we scheme treatment. Seeking treatment. We don't, we don't want our health to go away anytime soon. I mean, like, because like, we're just such a good leader, generally. We don't have any fucking zeal. But other than that, we're a pretty damn good leader. And our kids are looking pretty awesome. And there was a murder. Why, this, this guy is causing so many problems. So many problems. He's the researcher. And he just murdered a governor. All right, can I get rid of you as the researcher? This, this kind of shit's been happening this whole time. Or no, he murdered a researcher. Because of course he did. Let's just assign the person that's best for the job? Yeah, I guess so. He is a, a governor? No, he is a researcher. He murdered another researcher. He's this one right here. He's the military researcher. Okay, well, we're just going to replace him right now. Oh, but... That's going to scorn his family, which is frustrating. And there's nobody really too better than him. Let's take the popularity loss. Got some stability buff. It's good. So good, it's going to make me go ahead here and probably change my maritime laws. Or how is all this? Is it, there anything here worth changing right now? Ah, so this part is really kind of mad. The other Hellenic gods for this are not really that great. But we could swap. It's just, it's not too relevant yet. Yeah, no, the laws are more important. I'm going to go for anti-piracy edict. Let's go ahead and get that. That's one and done. That's perfect. We still need to make another city over by Macedon, but... I'm, I'm happy enough with how things are going. Okay, so we are nice and split up. We're capable of reinforcing ourselves. That should work out great. Carthage still is just like... Being a little bit of a dickhead. They broke their alliance with us. I'll improve opinion with them to try to maybe get it back. Because really, they need me even if they don't know that they need me. And I could sure use that. Leading the dreadful war at Phrygia. Phrygia. A number of dignitaries have shown up. Okay. Uh, some of them are pretty decent. Sure, I'll welcome them. They'll be pretty loyal as well. So that's really good. Getting food takes a while. They're getting at the exact same rate, which is funny. Narfi, did you just let a person settle down in your lands? Yeah. That dude was bringing me good shit. What the fuck did you do that for? He was bringing me objects of fertility that I was putting in temples to make my people fuck more. <laughs> I can't. I didn't know that. He he was helping me make the Macedonians lusty. <laughs> Sorry. You owe me some fertility statues. Bring those, bring those street hookers. The ones in the windows. Come on. Come on, Dutch boy. Some drugs while you're at it. I'm going to grant the carrions here. The right of inheritance is going to cost me a little bit of stability to make them happier, make their locations happier. These Thessalians are still upset from when I unintegrated them. But we want to get them assimilating. So... Something we'll have to pay. The dudes that I just made happier are in this region, generally. We're going to want to make them as loyal as possible. The best way I have to do that, though, are making court of laws. Let's start with the place that has less loyalty, why don't we? I've already placed down three. There's another three. And then that's all the cities that are there for me to place them down in. That's the best I can do for loyalty right now, because I can't build grand theaters yet. I've chased down these enemies... We're going to be crossing the river to get to them, but it shouldn't matter. I hope. Generally. Our phalanx is better than what they have. We don't, I don't think we have enough engineers with this group. We might. Uh, we do have engineers to make this easier. We're just tearing them apart. Even if they have higher discipline. Yeah, we just fucking slaughtered them, dude. So that worked out pretty well. Let's go down and assist this siege that I started back up. We have a siege going up here as well. And right now, they'll give us everything that I wanted. But the aggressive expansion is so little, I'm just going to see what else we can get out of this. 
I never planned to go this far into Anatolia. I didn't think the Antigonids would fall apart the way that they did. But Anatolia is good. I like Anatolia. Still, nowhere else has enough assimilation to provide me any really valuable levies. But at least I can have money to pay for more levies. I can't wait till I can actually maybe redo my legion a little bit or get it expanding. Hey, Narfi, looks like uh, those other two have formed an alliance together. Medical accident. Oh, crap. That's Gains frail. Oh, God. Wait, what? The treatment fucked him up even more. They operated on the wrong area. No, just keep seeking treatment. And God just damn it. Sit there. Ah, crap. Yeah, he's expanding, all right. They're probably making like a league to take out Atropatine or something, but it is still a PvP, so there's always that slight chance, you know, so we should keep an eye on that. Yeah, definitely. Although they couldn't take you. Uh, it's debatable. They're starting to get pretty chunky at this point. They have about half my population combined and they're expanding way faster than I am. Their territory is fully put together. Mine isn't. And their navies combined would defeat mine currently. Yeah, I currently have some bad luck with taking that last bit, bit of Crete. I had a problem with Carthage. They actually canceled our alliance when I tried to call them into a, a, a war, even though it said that they would join. So I had to like get that alliance back again. What is this? Okay. Well, people say he's not great or whatever. Gain popularity for telling them to fuck themselves. Yeah, investigate it. Why not? Okay, we just took this. We also have some bad food situation. But now that we own this, we should start recovering the food. Let's leave the mercenaries there for a second. Yeah, they're getting food back. It's fine. We're in remission from previous ailment. Doctors are overrated anyway. Well, we're frail now, so we, do not, we don't have an infection anymore. So I assume the treatment worked, or maybe it just went away on its own. But while doing, while getting treatment, we became frail. So that is four times better or four times less bad than the infection. But it's still not good. I'd still rather not have an infection on this guy, ideally. We have decent enough food. Are we still- are we getting food here? We are. Uh, what is this? Here's the snake that tried to fuck us over the legget. Oh my god, the legget, really? Oh dear. He's gonna lose loyalty because his reputation's ruined. We have to replace him with somebody else. Uh, let's go with this guy. He's next best for the job. Yeah, his rep is ruined. Just replace him. Hey guys, got a new legget. The old one was a piece of shit. Let's go and attack this next other spot here. We can now claim all of this. 14 aggressive expansion, not too bad. And we can claim this. 17 aggressive expansion, getting towards the max of what we can take. So we're going to have to do a little bit more to actually kind of get it to where we need it. We're going to go try and fight these guys with our mercs. We need a little bit more war score to actually properly win this. Once we get that little bit of war score, we're going to own a lot of this area. Whereas he's kind of in the southern area here in Greece and he's going for Crete. He's in the region of Greece specifically, and I'm just starting to take all this crap on either side, which is going to be interesting. I'm going to need a bigger navy. Not just for competing with NPCs, but the other players at this point as well. It's going to be pretty important. War score is still ticking up just from owning the war goal, which is nice. Oh, they just completely avoided me. Look at that. They just completely avoided me. Okay, let's see if you avoid this. I hate how instantly they respond to things. They just immediately know. The player can't do that. All right, our tactics are working out. We have more discipline. We're going to kick their asses. Easy fucking war score accumulating, man. Easy war score. Oh, another battle because they sent reinforcements. And now they're all fucked. They're dropping units down here, which is interesting. We're at 81 war score and they will take everything. I'm happy with what we're claiming, so let's go ahead and hit OK. Banish those of class, put the rest of the sword, and board these ships here. So we've now taken this stuff here. It's moved the capital down here, which is perfect because that is exactly what I wanted. We don't need this library here. Free up that building slot. So this is the new capital down here. So we can get rid of this fort up here. It's irrelevant now. 
This place still needs this as a capital. This place has a lot of forts, but realistically, I want the capital to be where this wonder is. We can do that in such few places where we have wonders. Well, sort of, right? Right here, our wonder is in a random settlement. So that just kind of sucks all by itself. Let's get rid of any excessive forts. We don't own this as similar as the color might be. We don't actually own that. There are so many cities over here, dude. There's a ton. For the most part, I'm going to leave what's there, there. I'm going to double up on this fort, maybe. I don't think I can even afford to do that. No, I have, like, no money right now. Okay, we have high enough aggressive expansion. Let's fire these mercenaries to kind of get our income back. And let's sail back home. We've also just acquired all this. Oh. Troops will become loyal to him. Oh, okay. Tribal neighbor, good. Um, yeah, they can become loyal to you. That'll actually save me money. I don't really mind. It might make you an asshole, but... Nothing I'd want to delete over here. This is a very fortified location. <laughs> Maybe excessively so. Yeah.